coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Sonny finds himself fighting for his life, even though he's supposed to be on vacation in the episode Bad Timing. On this week in Vice, we're taking a look back to when this episode of Miami Vice aired, from November 20th to December 3rd, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on November 21st, the Soviet Union suddenly stopped jamming the signal for Radio Liberty broadcasts. Throughout the Cold War, the KGB routinely used radio jamming as a means to stop the broadcast. Radio Liberty and its sister broadcast, Radio Free Europe, have been a U.S. government-funded organization broadcasting news and information into countries via shortwave radio. Originally founded in 1949, I had no idea this existed. I highly encourage you to read about it. It's fascinating. In music, on this two-week stretch between Vice episodes, Bad Medicine from Bon Jovi holds on to the top spot for one week and then is replaced by a surprise. From the self-titled album, the pop band Will to Power reaches number one with the medley Baby I Love Your Way slash Freebird. This is a strange song I've never heard before. It's actually a cover song that combines the classics Baby I Love Your Way by Peter Frampton and Freebird from Leonard Skinner. In every way, it's wrong. As we creep closer to the 90s, music just keeps getting weirder. In movies, we have two movies that would rule the box office in this time period. After back-to-back horror movies with They Live in Child's Play, it's family time. First up is The Land Before Time. This animated classic tugs on so many heartstrings, which isn't a surprise knowing it's directed and produced by the great Don Bluth. Land Before Time is a behemoth, spawning 13 sequels. Next is Scrooge, starring Bill Murray, along with a deep cast of supporting actors. A modern retelling of the Dickens classic A Christmas Carol, it was Murphy's first role after taking a four-year hiatus from acting. Since its release, it's gained a huge following and is still a Christmas classic. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.